The anterior superior alveolar, or ASA injection, is an infiltration type of injection that innervates the pulpal and osseous tissues, periodontal ligaments, facial gingiva, and adjacent vestibular mucosa of the maxillary anteriors, that is the canine, the lateral, and the central incisors. While identical to the infiltration demonstration, the location of the nerves and thus solution placement will anesthetize a broader area, thereby avoiding multiple needle penetrations. Palpate the canine eminence and canine fossa, which is the slight depression located just anterior or medial to the eminence. Place topical at the mucobuccal fold of that area for at least one minute. While the topical is in place, use both hands to obtain and ready your syringe, making certain that the bevel is toward the bone and the large window toward the operator. Follow all steps and procedures listed in the video clip entitled Basic Steps in the Administration of Local Anesthesia. A 25, 27, or 30 gauge short needle works well for this injection. The penetration site is at the height of the mucobuccal fold at the canine fossa. To gain access to the site of penetration, gently retract the tissue, pulling the tissues taut while lifting the tissues away from the maxilla. Be sure that the patient's head is tilted up and back in order to enable you to have good vision and easy access. Clinicians tend to have less stability in this area because there are no surrounding tissues to help support the syringe. Use your middle finger for an extra fulcrum if you need it, or just use a tripod fulcrum if you feel stable. Remain parallel with the long axis of the tooth and insert approximately three to six millimeters depending on the apex of the tooth. Aspirate at the deposition site. It is slightly more difficult to aspirate in this area than other areas of the mouth. Be careful not to remove the syringe from the tissue while applying negative pressure to the thumb ring. A minimum of one half of a cartridge over a period of not less than 30 to 45 seconds should be deposited. The volume will vary depending on patient factors and planned procedures. Remove the needle gently and make it safe by recapping properly. Potential complications from this injection are minimal. There is a possibility of discomfort if periosteum is contacted. Be sure to stay parallel with the long axis of the tooth to avoid touching the periosteum. Ballooning of tissue may occur in this region. Also, it is possible to see some hemorrhage at the site of penetration. Incomplete anesthesia can occur at the midline with the ASA as a result of cross or overlapping innervation of terminal nerve fibers from the contralateral side. To achieve adequate anesthesia in these instances, administer an infiltration over the central incisors of the same side. 